Next story I want to talk about is related to the decrease in the price of autopilot. And this is pretty cool and because I think autopilot, in my view, should be free. Um, it shouldn't be something that, that you have to pay for. But Tesla basically decreased the price of the enhanced autopilot, which is typically what we just call uh, autopilot, um, for after delivery. So it's still 5000 before, and there's a screenshot of it here, I believe. Um, still 5000 before, but instead of 6000 afterwards, it's 5500 And the cool thing about that is that it seems to line up with these free trials. So if you don't know, a lot of folks that don't have Autopilot recently were prompted to, to do a, a free trial. Uh, I think you got two weeks free um, to see uh, if you liked it or not, and it seems to coincide with this discount. So essentially, you know, if you did like it and you wanted to get it, they'd be giving you a $500 off of the normal price, which would have been $6,000 for after the fact um, and it also seems to, to dovetail on all of the the hype around version 9 for autopilot and version 9 is said to have a lot of really cool features that we've all been waiting on um, in fact l l let me just see if i can pull this up because i, I don't think people uh, people really realize how how lacking autopilot currently is so if i pull this up here you can see here's a tesla.com slash autopilot and if i scroll down you know they have this self-driving video which is kind of ancient now it talks about what's going on and you know tesla vision and all that here here's the part where where i take a little bit of issue and let me zoom in and see okay so here's your enhanced autopilot and the features it lists on ramp to off ramp so this currently is not possible. This is currently not a feature that exists. They have said that this will be included in version 9, which is what we're hoping to see very soon. Um, but there also may be hardware upgrades and stuff down the road that are needed and additional upgrade costs, et cetera, et cetera. So all kinds of stuff. But currently, like if you look in their website, it appears that this is something that they have. However, it doesn't exist. Then you go down and it's this Auto Steer Plus. This is maybe here um this has certainly gotten better but i do not like i've tried it a few times just to see how well it would do just on the little clover on and off ramps that we have here in california doesn't really work well enough yet i've tried it in uh, a brand new uh, model s 75d as well as my model 3 long range and it can't handle like even kind of a just a basic uh a circle that it has to drive in so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's not here yet. Then you have summon, and summon does work, as long as you're going straight forward and backward, not on a hill, no bumps in the road, anything else. They have here listed this idea of smart summon where it'll do something like turn the corner in your driveway. Let's assume you have a driveway that you know looks like this little layout of a house here. Again, not something that currently it supports. However, on the page, it definitely seem, makes it seem like this is what's available. So hopefully maybe with this these new trials and you know their push to kind of uh, sell this what they'll give or what what you'll get is version 9 and hopefully version 9 can do a lot of those things i'm sure as soon as they they does get released uh you'll have basically a, a flood of it on youtube so you know stay tuned um yeah and here you go you know there's some posts on here from from back in june when they were talking about version 9 so so there you have it um interesting stuff exciting hope it works uh and and you know let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments